What's going on guys, Crypto Renegade here, and in today's video we're going to be doing another hardware wallet comparison. On my right we have the Keystone Pro, which is a brand new air-gapped hardware wallet, and on my left we have the Ledger Nano X. Stay tuned, you are not going to want to miss this one. All right guys, welcome back. So before I jump into the content, I just wanna let you know pinned in the comments and in the description is my free ebook, 100% free, seven best ways to secure your crypto, which I just updated this year. So check it out if you care about crypto security, which I'm assuming you do if you're on this video. So let's jump right into this. So today, just like most videos, I'm gonna cover the top three categories I look at when deciding on which hardware wallet to buy. First, we're gonna look at the design, security, and form factor of each device. Second, we're gonna look at any unique coin support that each of these devices has and or staking capabilities. And third and final will be the price and ultimately which one of these devices I would buy if I could only choose one. So I'm gonna go ahead and start real quick here with the Ledger Nano X uh, because it looks like it's about to die. The battery is pretty low on this one. So as far as the security design and form factor, I'll be honest with you guys, Ledger is a great company. They've had some issues with the recent hack you know, obviously they leaked a lot of user data. If you have this device, a Ledger Nano S or a Ledger Nano X currently, your private keys are safe. As long as you didn't enter it on any computer or anything like that, you're, you're fine. But they've had a lot of issues recently and PR issues that they've been tackling. At any rate, in terms of the design and the security, I'll be honest, this isn't my favorite wallet. I use this wallet only for staking crypto, uh, so I don't use it for my main long-term holdings. And the reason is, is like this particular device is so small and not user-friendly. You have two mechanical buttons here on the left and right side, and the screen, as you can see, is so tiny. It's hard to navigate. It's hard to actually manage and use this. The nice thing about it is it does work wirelessly, so you can use the iOS or Android Ledger Live app on your smartphone, as well as the desktop application on your computer, and you can use vice versa if you have a Ledger Nano X, which is really nice. But again, I don't like the usability in the design and the form factor of the device. As far as security goes, this works uh, wirelessly via Bluetooth, which is relatively secure. It's obviously not as secure as an air gap device that has no connection whatsoever. However, it is fairly secure. You'll see here you have a USB-C connector, which you can use for your computer and or charging the device. There are no other buttons other than the two mechanical buttons that you see here, and it's made out of plastic and brushed stainless steel. It's a very small and compact device. And again, I use it for staking Tezos. I use it to stake Polkadot, or at least I previously did before there was an update, staking Kusama, staking Atom, Cosmos, and so on. So ultimately, this is a good device for staking. It is one of the easiest to use if you have coins that you wanna stake and earn interest on long-term. There's no doubt about that. But the overall security has an EAL5 Plus security element chip, and it also is, like I said, only connects via the wire here, USB-C, as well as Bluetooth if you have a smartphone. But overall, I, I have to be honest, I don't like using this device. I only use it to set up the staking and so on. Now on my right here is a brand new Keystone. If you're familiar with the Kobo Vault Pro, this has now been rebranded. So Keystone is the new brand and the new wallet. This is a 100% air gap device. It also has a fingerprint authenticator here so that you can open and sign transactions with your fingerprint. It also supports multi-sig so that if you want to have multiple people be able to sign a transaction with their fingerprint and or password, you can do that. Right here, you also have the camera so it can scan the QR codes and you can send and receive coins completely air gapped as well. On the side here, you have an SD card slot, which has been relocated so it's more accessible and easy to use. This is a rechargeable battery, but it also comes with an additional battery pack. So if you want to use four AAA batteries, you can go completely off the grid and it will still work meaning you just don't have to charge that, but it does create a little bump, uh, so it changes the, de the actual physical design a little bit. On the top here, you have one mechanical button that turns on and off the device. As you can see, if I turn it off here, I turn it on, it's gonna ask me for my fingerprint on the back, and it just pops right open very easily. This also is air-gapped, as I mentioned, no Bluetooth, no Wi-Fi, no cellular, no cables. None of that. So this is completely air-gapped and uses the QR code transmission, uh, which is very safe and very secure. As you can see here, for instance, if I wanna receive Bitcoin, I can create multiple addresses. I can add multiple signatures if I want to. And all I have to do is open this and I can scan it with my phone or any other camera to send 
Bitcoin directly to this air gap device, which is really cool. The other thing about this is beyond the biometric scanner as well, it, it does have an iOS and an Android app, and you can set up settings for multiple, not only passphrases for hidden wallets, you can also set up an additional pattern lock where it's basically nine dots on a grid and you can set your own custom pattern, kind of like an Android phone. You can also do fingerprint or you can do a combination of password, fingerprint, and pattern if you want to be extra secure. So it is very nice that you have multiple security authentication factors that you can set. Me personally, for the purposes of this, I just wanted to show how easy it is to just use your fingerprint to open and use the device quickly without anyone watching you type in your password manually. In terms of the coin support, we're gonna just stick with this real quick and then we'll take a look at Ledger. I'll be honest, Keystone does have coin support for Bitcoin, Ethereum, and all ERC20 tokens, Bitcoin Cash, Dash, Polkadot, which Polkadot also allows staking on here. Kusama is coming as well as Cardano and Cardano staking are coming very soon. Currently, you also have Litecoin, Tron, and all TRX tokens, and then XRP as well. There will be new coins added over time. There's also a DeFi integration so that you can use this wirelessly with MetaMask. So if you like to use One Inch or Uniswap or ZRX or anything like that, you can utilize this with the MetaMask integration, which previously was not able to, and this is the only air-gapped hardware wallet that allows you to do that. As far as the coin support, I'll be honest, it is fairly limited in terms of native applications as it stands now, but again, all ERC20 tokens, which are over a thousand, all TRX or Tron tokens, which I believe they're over a hundred, that'll be supported, and then Polkadot and staking for that, as well as Kusama, Polkadot staking's here, Kusama's coming very shortly. So that's the overall coin support. Not 100% the best, but very good and covers most of the bases here, including multi-sig. Now I'll be honest, Ledger Nano X is gonna win in the coin support category. Like I mentioned, this is the wallet that I use mainly for staking all, multiple coins that I just mentioned, and it has the easiest integration and easiest setup for staking, so you don't have to integrate third-party wallets. You can directly do it through Ledger Live, and it only takes a few clicks. Check my channel. I have have, uh, detailed reviews for specific staking specific coins if that's something that you're interested in but as far as coin support this has probably out of any hardware wallet provider it has the most up-to-date and the best coin support currently and they're adding new coins all the time some unique coins obviously are gonna be new ERC 20 tokens like compound Uniswap Polkadot, Kusama, a lot of the new DeFi coins and their platforms as well, as well as things like Luna staking is coming soon. A lot of new coins that are up and coming are currently supported. And if you want the overall best and most coin support, you wanna wanna go with the Ledger Nano X. The one limitation I do wanna tell you is that when using Ledger Live, you can only install 100 coins and or applications at once on the device. That just means that when you're managing the device, whether it be on Ledger Live on your phone or Ledger Live on the desktop, you can only have 100 different coins at any given time. You can always add and remove and swap them out and so on, but just know, Still a vast improvement over the Ledger Nano S, but there is no limitation on the number of coins here. Obviously, there's not 100 unique coins, but you can have as many ERC20 tokens on this as you want, and you would not be able to do that simultaneously with this, so just keep that in mind. And the final complete sort of category that we're gonna end on here is the price. Now, I'm gonna link in the description the best discounts, prices that you can ever get on these devices, so make sure if you're interested in looking at these devices or buying them, check my link in the description because it will always be updated with the best prices no matter what at any given time that you watch this video a year from now two years from now whatever it always will be updated and i will make sure of that having said that i'm going to give you the full retail prices for these so you can compare it the keystone pro on my right here is 169 dollars uh, for a mid-level wallet, that is fairly priced right in the middle there, uh, similar to like an Elipal Titan pricing and, and other air-gapped wallets that are relatively similar. And then the Ledger Nano X full price is $119, a little bit cheaper, but again, you get a much smaller device. Ultimately, this is a hard decision. If I had to only pick one of these, it, you know, it ultimately comes down to your own personal coin preference if you're planning on doing any staking. Me personally, if I had to choose, 
I would still personally choose Keystone, and the and the reason why is just because of that new MetaMask DeFi integration. Also, the fact that it's air gapped makes me feel like it's more secure. Makes me feel like I'm more in control. There's no possible intercepts in terms of Bluetooth connection or cellular connection or anything like that. So that's why I would choose the Keystone. Also, the user experience on the Keystone is just so much better. The screen is bigger. It's much easier to manage. The app is easy to use. The overall use of ability of the keystone even though it holds less coins i would still prefer even though it has limitations there having said that ledger nano x is still a high quality device by a fairly reputable company it's been around for several years and like i mentioned i do use this wallet only for staking but the truth is the user experience is not as good as the Keystone Pro. So in this roundup, that's my reason for why I choose Keystone Pro. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, let me know down in the comments below. I will do my best to answer them for you. And then go ahead and click here in the top right corner. I'm gonna show you my comparison between the Keystone Pro and the Elopel Titan, two very similar air gapped wallets. And I will see you guys in that video right now. Crypto Renegade out.